Jess. Well. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Goggins. Chilly out there today. Uh, that's all I've got for you today, I'm afraid. You'll have to collect the rest of the post from the station. Uh, Jess should be back from Pencaster with it by now. <laughs> Jay, is everything all right? No, it's not all right. The rocket's frozen solid, and I haven't been able to get to Pancaster to collect the post today. I'm just trying to unstick the water pipe to get her going again. Hmm, looks like it's come unstuck all right. Oh, no! The Greendale rocket will never move now. Look at the car park, too. Oh, dear. All that water has frozen solid. <laughs> How am I going to get rid of all this ice? I don't know, Ajay. But now I haven't got much post to deliver, I'll get back as soon as I can and give you a hand. Thanks, Pat. Oh, this... this is slippy. Ooh, steady. Whoa! Hey! That was close. Meow. Careful, Jess. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Come on, Jess. We've got post to deliver. Mira? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at school? The heating isn't working. Mr Pringle sent us all home until he can get it fixed. Oh, dear. Poor Jeff. Mum, can we play outside? OK, but be careful because it's very icy out there. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you two. No school today. No, the heating's broken. Would you like a ride on our sledge, Pat? <laughs> Not today, thanks. You two have fun, though. Thanks. Come on. There you go, Julia. Oh, thanks, Pat. What's that you're doing? Oh, well, it's a, it's a bit slippy out here, so I'm sprinkling some grit on the path. It melts the ice. What a good idea. That's just what Ajay needs for the frozen car park. Well, I've got plenty to spare, Pat. You're welcome to take this sack and give it a try. Thanks, Julia. That's very kind of you. Cheerio. Bye, Pat. Meow. Careful on the path. I haven't gritted all of it yet. Whoops. I see what you mean. Gangway! <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, wow! Did you see Pat go? Yes! <laughs> Come on, Jess. Meow. Oh. Meow. Meow. It's just like a real ice ring. And it's brilliant for sliding, too. Watch this! Whoa! Jeez, on <laughs> it's fantastic! My turn! Woo! <laughs> Come on, Mira! No! I'm going to dance on the ice like a real ice skater. That's oh. boring! Come on, Bill. Let's see who can slide the best. <laughs> Nice try, Mira. Thank you. But what you need are some ice skates. I used to have a couple of old pairs lying around somewhere. Ooh, can I try them, Dad? Hi. Why not? I'm not having much luck fixing the train. Why don't we both have a go? I'll see if I can find them. Thanks, Dad. Are you coming, Jess? Wow. 
Watch out, sheep. I've got letters to deliver. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, dear. This ice is making things very tricky. I hope Ajay's OK at the station. Uh, oi. Maybe these ice skates weren't such a good idea after all. Oh, come on, Dad. It'll be fun. Ouch! Ouch! Oops! Sorry, Dad. Oh, it's OK. Go on. Give them a whirl. <laughs> Just takes practice, that's all. But I think I'll stick to diving trains. Oh. Watch out, Ajay! Hey. 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 hey! Watch out, lads! Hello there, Ted. Whoa! What? Watch out! Ooh. Some post for you, Ted. My heck, but that were impressive. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'm having a right job delivering the post with all this snow and ice about. Oh, well, you see, that's where my latest invention comes in handy. It's the Ted Glenn Automatic de-icing machine. It melts all that snow and ice in a jiffy. Watch. All you have to do is point it at what you want to de-ice. Like this. Wow, now that is impressive. Ajay could do with that to de-ice the Greendale rocket and the car park. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Come on, you two. Don't you want to try skating? No! This is much more fun! <laughs> I'll go and see if I can find something to slide on to make it faster. Whoa! Oh, come on, Bill. All proper ice skaters have skating partners. Nah, skating's for girls. Why? Cos boys can't do it. Can't, sir. Go on, then. Show me. <gasps> Aww. <laughs> It was fun. Look, I got these sacks from the post van on the train to slide on. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Come on, let's just try out those sacks. But I thought you were my skating partner. Whoa. Come and get some nice hot chocolate. Yay! 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 Brilliant! You're skating really well now, Mera. Bill, Julian, have you been skating too? No, we've been sliding. Oh, I see. Mum! Will you come and watch me do my ice dance? As soon as you've finished your hot chocolate. I wonder where Ajay's got to. I don't know, but doesn't look like he's had much luck with this. Look at those icicles. Wait till I'm done with my machine. Let's try it on the rocket first, and then we can get cracking on the car park. <coughs> Wow, 
Oh, Pat, how did you get rid of all those icicles? With Ted's new de-icing machine. What do you think? It's wonderful. Thank you, Pat. I'll de-ice the car park now. No! no! Stop! 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 What's wrong? We don't want you to melt the ice in the car park. Why not? It's our ice rink. Ice rink? Aye. They've been playing on the ice all day. Mira's even been practising an ice dance on skates. Well, now you're talking. I love a bit of ice skating, me. I didn't know you could ice skate, Ted. Me? Oh, no, I've got two left feet. I just like to watch. Oh, I really need someone to skate with me to do my special ice dance. Can you skate, Pat? No, sorry, Mira. I Pat, you can. You might not have had skates on, but you were doing a grand job on that ice earlier. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, uh, no, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, please, Pat. All the proper ice skaters have partners to skate with. Go on, Pat. You'll be great. <sighs> <sighs> Boy, heck, Jess. Them's the best ice dancers I've ever seen. Thanks, Pat. You're a great ice dancer. Thank you. Are you OK, Pat? Um, <laughs> yes, thanks. But maybe I'll leave the skating to the real ice dancers like you from now on. Meow. It's no good, love. I can't mend the water pipe. Oh, no. This leak is getting worse and worse. I think it's great. I'm going to call Ted. Perhaps he can fix it. There, the Ted Glenn fully automated get you up machine. I'll never sleep through my alarm again. <laughs> Marvellous. Hey, oh, who's that? Hello. Ted, it's Pat. Oh. Uh, we've got a burst water pipe. Don't worry, I'll be over straight away. Don't worry, love. If anybody can fix this, Ted can. I think it's fun. I like having breakfast in the rain. That's the water turned off, but it's a big job, I'm afraid. It'll take a while to mend. Oh, dear. What are we going to do in the meantime? Well, we can't stay here. Not with the water off. And everything's soaking wet. We could go and stay with my sister in Pencaster, I suppose. But what about school? And delivering the post. Well, uh, you could always come and stay with me. Wow! Can we, Mum? Well, we... Don't want to trouble you. Oh, please, please, please. 
It would be so cool to stay at the water mill. Hmm. Mm. Now then, Pat can have the hammock. Sarah can have the couch. And I'll have the camp bed. What about you, Ted? Oh, don't worry about me. I I'll bed down in one of the outhouses. Now then... What does this do, Ted? That? Uh, it's one of my new inventions, the Ted Glenn Fully Mechanised Auto Cat Basket. Wow! How does it work? First you put your cat in. Meow! Like so. Then you decide what time you want him to get up in the morning. And off you go. Um, perhaps it needs a bit more work. Shall we get some firewood in? Uh, It's very good of you to put us up like this, Ted. That's all right, Pat. I could do with the company. It must get a bit lonely up here all on your own. I can't complain. I've got the mill and all my inventions to keep me busy. The Ted Glenn Fully Automated Cooking Machine. First, place the sausages in the frying pan. Next, take the beans. <coughs> ah, right, now you... Hang on, what's happened to the sausages? I definitely put them in. Oh, well. Now for the eggs. Mum! Look out! Hello, you two. How are you getting on with my cooking machine? Oh, dear. Not any more, love, no. Sorry. It's just, well, I hate to sound ungrateful, but I'm not too keen on Ted's funny inventions. Uh, I know what you mean, love. Still, at least we're safe in bed. They can't get to us here. Oh, what? What's happening? Oh! Oh! Oof. Oh, dear. Oh, I didn't realise how much I'd miss my own hammock. Morning, Ted. I got up early to do a bit of a spring clean. What do you think? Uh, I... well, I... I uh... <sighs> Morning, Ted. Uh. Morning, Pat. Y you all right? It didn't get much sleep last night. Him and me both. Uh, your get-you-up machine kept getting me up. Every five minutes. Oh, uh, um, I'm sorry. Right. Who's next in line for the bathroom? Oh, thanks, Sarah. I'll just... Me! <sighs> oh, dear. <sighs> Sorry, Jess, I didn't see you there. I'm not used to all this company. Hello, Charlie. Come to see Julian. Um, yeah, that's right. I heard you were staying here. Oh, you're so lucky. All these inventions and, and, and machines. We're going to start Ted's new washing machine invention in a minute, Charlie. Wow! You can stay and watch if you like. Oh! Thanks, Mrs Clifton. Right, that's the clothes. What now? We fill her up. Pat, if you can hang that bucket on that hook. Right you are, Ted. Whoever would have thought 
thought doing the washing could be such fun. Here she comes. Just guide her in now. That's grand. Right then, I'll get off and fix that pipe of yours. OK, Ted, thanks. Bye. Yeah. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Ted. I hear you got company down at the water mill. That's right. It's not going too well, though. Why's that, Ted? I don't know. I suppose I'm just not used to having other folk around. You've been living on your own too long, Ted. And that's the way I like it, I'm afraid. So the sooner I get Pat's house fixed up, the better. Right, that's all the water. Now for the soap. Oh, I do hope we can go home soon, Pat. I've seen enough of Ted's inventions to last me a lifetime. Mind your backs, please. Inventors coming through. What are you two up to? We're, we're making an invention, Mr Clifton. Just like one of Ted's. Replace damaged pipe, men's ceiling, repaint. Sounds like a big job, Ted. I'll give you a hand if you like. I'm off duty in a few minutes. Thanks, Arthur. It'll still take time. Pity we can't get a third man. Hello. If you need a job done, call him up. He's the one. Find the workshop and then you'll get help from Ted Glenn. Let's get help from Ted Glenn. Stay here one moment longer. Just look at your trousers. But what about our invention? We haven't finished it yet. I'm sorry, Julian, but Mum's right. Come on, Jess. Meow. Where are you going? To tell Ted we're leaving. There. All done. Nice work, lads. Oh. What's up, Ted? I thought you were looking forward to having your place to yourself again. I am. I'm just worried about Pat and Sarah. They're going to be so disappointed when they hear they've got to move out. They seem to be enjoying living at my house. Hello? That'll be Pat. Oh, heck. Hello, everyone. My, you've done a grand job. Oh, you can move back in straight away. Wow, Ted. That's absolutely fan... I, I mean, that's great, Ted. You must have worked very hard, all of you. You're not too disappointed. No, no, I'm, I'm very grateful. But what about you, Ted? Won't you be lonely without us around? Mm, don't you worry about me, but uh, I'll be OK. Come on, then. Let's go and give Sarah the news. What? Oh, but that's... <coughs> uh, very disappointing that we have to leave Ted's wonderful house. But we'll be glad to go home, of course. Can't we stay a bit longer, please? No. <sighs> Ted's put up with us for quite long enough, Julian. But, but, we, we, we've just finished his, his present. What? They've been working on it all day. It's to say thank you for having us. Ta-da! It's an invention, Ted. Like one of yours. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know what to say. What does it do, Charlie? It it controls all the other machines in the place. What?
Ted. I'm so sorry. We'll tidy up before we go. No, no, you're all right. I like it like this, actually. It feels more like... Uh, more like home. Hey. Morning, Ajay. Morning, Pat. Hiya, Julian. Hi, Mr. Hello, Ajay. Hi, Mira. Oh, hi, Julian. Look what I found. It was on the ground just outside the cafe. Why, that's Dorothy Thompson's umbrella. Lucky you were here, Pat, or I'd have sent it to the lost property office in Pancaster. What's a lost property office? Well, if something gets lost on the train or at the station, it's taken to the lost property office. And it's kept there safely until the owner comes to get it. Could we have a lost property office in Greendale, Dad? Hmm. Maybe I should think about setting one up. Right. I'd better be off to the post office. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye, Dad. Bye, Ben. Can we take Dorothy a lost property, Dad? Of course you can, love. Mind how you go now. Look, Mira. Dad bought me some new dinosaur stickers. There's some fantastic ones. <coughs> oh, Bonnie, do be quiet. She's lost her squeaky bone somewhere. <laughs> oh, dear. Well. Tell you what, Bonnie. I'll keep an eye out for it while I'm on my rounds. Oh, there you are, Bonnie. Pat'll find it. <coughs> Morning, all. Morning, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. And what can I do for you today? I've got a parcel to send, but it's coming undone at the end here. I'm not very good with sticky tape. Eh, uh, no, so I see. Uh, here's my sticky tape, Arthur. Use as much as you want. Thank you, Mrs Goggins. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oops. Oh, Pat, just one more parcel for you to take. It's for Amy. Hmm. It's a special delivery. She'll have to sign for it. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Bye, Pat. Bye, Arthur. Uh, oh, Bye. hush, Bonnie. <coughs> oh, my goodness. I told you I wasn't very good with sticky tape. <laughs> Arthur, here, let me help you. <coughs> brings you here. I found this at the station. It's lost property. Pat said it was yours. Well, I never. I must have dropped it yesterday. Thank you, Mira. Dad was going to send it to the lost property office in Pencaster. Oh, I'm glad he didn't. I wouldn't want to go all the way to Pencaster just to pick up my umbrella. Dad might start a lost property office in Greendale. And I'm going to help him. But you haven't got any lost property, Mira. I know. But people are always losing things, aren't they, Mrs Thompson? Well, I certainly am. Here, have an apple each as a reward. Thanks, Mrs Thompson. Thompson. Bye. Bye. Meow. Meow. Bonnie, what are you doing out on your own? I think she's looking for her squeaky bone, Jess. Come on, Bonnie, let's take you home. Mrs Goggins will be worried. <laughs> hey, come out of there. I haven't got your bone. Let's get you home, and quickly. I've still got to get that special delivery to Amy.
believe you got two Tyrannosaurus Rexus in one packet of stickers. Well, I'll give you one of mine if you give me... Mm, a Stegosaurus sticker. Look! It's Bunny's squeaky bone. That's her favourite toy. But it's also lost property. It can be the first thing in our lost property office. When you flower, you'll make a lovely show, my beauties. Oh, bum, 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 bum. Julian, look! More lost property! How do you know it's lost? It might belong to Reverend Timms. Well, we could put it in our lost property office and keep it safe for him. OK. Then can we play with my stickers? Now, where's my trowel? Hmm, how very peculiar. <coughs> Hello there, Pat. What have you got for me today? Well, I don't know what it is, but I do know it's heavy. Wait, it must be the new school books I ordered. <coughs> oh, no, you don't, Bonnie. Back in the van with you. Sorry I can't stay. I'm in a hurry to get a parcel to Amy. Bye. Bye, Pat. Hmm. I can't manage all this at once. I'll have to make two trips. Look, Julian. Something else for the lost property office. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Oh, Pat, thank you so much for bringing Bonnie home. No problem, Mrs Goggins. Better rush. I've still got to get that special delivery to Amy. <coughs> hey, where's me shop and gun? Good morning, Jeff. Oh, hello, Reverend. Have you seen a bag of shopping? I left it out here a minute ago, and it's vanished into thin air. My gardening trowel has disappeared too. Should we tell PC Selby, do you think? I think we should find him right away. Hello, Pat. Have you got my special delivery? I certainly have. <coughs> It's here somewhere. I put it in here myself. It's special medicine for one of the Pottage's cows. Daisy's really not well. It's gone. <gasps> what? Oh. Your parcel. It's gone. Oh, no. What happened? I'm terribly sorry, Amy. It must have fallen out of the van. Oh, dear. What am I going to do? Daisy needs that medicine today. Don't worry. I'll go and search in the village. Someone will have seen your parcel. Meow. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Would you like a drink, girls? Oh, yes, please, yes, Bob. Yes, please. Look, Julian, more lost property. I bet they're Sarah's toys, Mira. This is her house. Sarah! Sarah! She's not here. We'd better look after them for her. All right. But then can we play with my stickers? <gasps> and what's that? It's a parcel for Amy. How did that get here? Never mind how it got here. It's lost, isn't it? Oh, the sooner we open our lost property office, the better. Come on. Hey, where's my ball? And my skipping rope. 
Someone's taken them. <gasps> Look. A packet of stickers. <gasps> it's a clue. Maybe the person who dropped these stickers is the person who took our things. You're right, Lucy. Come on, let's go tell your dad. I had a special delivery from Ursula. I don't know where you can't find it. Stop! One at a time, please. So I can write down everything that's gone missing. Dad! Dad! Someone's taken our toys! Oh. <gasps> but look, we found these stickers on the ground where our toys were. Stickers? These stickers are a clue. That's what I said, Dad. That's my girl. The odour of these stickers must be the Greedale thief. I think those stickers belong to Julian. <gasps> oh, but that, your Julian would never take anyone else's things. No, he wouldn't. Not unless he thought they were lost, lost property. I think I might know where all your things are. Come on. I can't find my There. Everything's ready. What happens now? We just have to wait for people to come and fetch their things. <gasps> Listen, they're coming already. Welcome to the Greendale Lost Property Office. Can we help anyone? Um, uh, 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 oh, my trusty trowel. My shopping. Oh, here's your squeaky bone, Bonnie. <laughs> That's my ball. And my rope. You shouldn't have taken our things away. Well, that solves the mystery of the Greendale thief. It certainly does. I'm sorry, everybody. We thought all your things were lost. We didn't mean to steal them. We were trying to help. My parcel. You found my parcel. Yes, it was on the road outside Sarah's house. Well done, you two. This parcel is some medicine for a sick cow at the Pottages. I'd better get there right away. Bye, everyone. We really did think we were being helpful, Dad. I know, love. So how do you fancy helping me set up a real lost property office for Greendale? Oh, yeah! Which reminds me. Have you lost anything this morning, Julian? Uh, I don't think so. What about these? My stickers! Thanks, Dad. I'm really sorry about today. <laughs> Never mind, Julian. A lost property office is a good thing to have. I know, as long as the property really is lost. <laughs> That's a large crate, AJ. Who's it for? It's a special delivery for... Amy Rigglesworth. I'd better phone Pat so he can deliver it. I wonder what's in it. Hmm. Dad, will you teach Bill to ride his two-wheeler? He can't do it properly. Julian, I'm not that bad. Oh, here, let me hold that bike, Bill. Now, on you get and pedal. Go on, go on. There, look. You've got it. Oof. Oh, no. I just can't do it. Yes, you can. You must never give up. Come on, have another go. Well, OK. Good lad. Pat, that was Ajay on the phone. There's a big parcel come for Amy. Can you go and fetch it? Yes, of course. Keep practising, Bill. OK, Pat. Come on, Jess. Meow. Mum, can we go to the green? There's more room for Bill to practise down there. Of course you can, love. <laughs> Quick. Oh. Here's Pat with his van now. Take her up. 
Stop! Bring her down. Uh, right a bit. And, uh, whoa! Oh. That's not going in, Pat. It's got to, Arthur. It's too big. I can't not deliver the post. Come on, Sarah. <sighs> it's easier when you haven't got stabilizers on, you know. <sighs> That's Julian and Bill. Come on. Would it go on my roof, do you think? You haven't got a roof rack to put it on, Pat. That's no problem. Leave it to me. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Julian. I like your bike. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. You do look funny. Can't you ride a bike yet, then? That's funny. You're older than us as well. So? I can't help it. I'm... Oh, I'm going home. Don't go home, Bill. And the next time you see me, I'll be riding me bike. You'll see. What? Huh. I didn't say anything. Much. Mama. Emma. Nails. Nails. Right. That's got that fixed. Good work, Ted. You can let the parcel down now, AJ. Coming down. Well caught, AJ. Wow, did you see that? Yeah. Ooh. What's happened to you then? I was trying to ride my bike and I fell in puddle. Oh dear. Why don't you have a practice in the yard and when I get back from the post office, I'll help you. I won't be long. Thanks, Dad. I'll show that Sarah Gilbertson. I'm not giving up. I'm just not giving up. Who would like a snack? Thanks Thank very you, much. Misha. Thanks, love. Oh, you've taken the stabilizers off your bike, Lucy. I just learned to ride without them. Bob's taking bite off sewed. Just a minute. That's the answer, Ted. Eh? Stabilizers. Oh. Aye, I've got you. Look at that, Jess. Our own trailer. Thanks, everyone. The post is on its way. Bye! Bye, -bye. Um, what shall we do now? Let's follow Dad. We can go across the field and meet him at Amy's. Good idea. Let's go. Again, I'm not giving up. <laughs> Let's take the shortcut, Jess. Yeah. 
This is bumpier than I thought. Oh, no! Three. Dad! Dad! Are you all right? Yes, we're both fine, aren't we, Jess? Well... My parcel's going to be late, though. Bill's dad's got a big tractor. Maybe he can pull you out. I'll go and get him. Good thinking. Thanks, Lucy. <laughs> Come on, Jess. Yeah. Let's try and get this van back up the hill. Dad's gone down to the post office. Oh, no! Can you ride your bike down to the village? Can't you go? My front wheel's coming off. For Pat? Course I can. Don't worry, Jess. We won't give up. Well. Oh, no. I can't do it. No. Pat needs me. Don't give up, Bill. Yes. Meow. Let's try again. Meow. That's three stamps and an envelope. <laughs> oh, goodness me, Bill. Whatever's the matter? It's Pat. His van's fallen down a hill. Oh, no. Don't worry, Mrs. Goggins. We're on our way. <laughs> in time. Well done, Lucy. Right you are. Looks like we'll make it after all, eh, Jess? Meow. Hooray! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Who wants 
Sarah. Oh. You'll be all right. Oh. 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 Just don't oh. give up, that's all. I must say I'm keen to know what's in that parcel after all the trouble we went to. Let's find out, shall we? It's got wheels. Oh, no. If we'd only known, we could have towed it here without any bother at all. What's it for? It's a trailer for taking sick animals to hospital. I've been wanting one for ages. Thanks for helping to deliver it, everyone. It just goes to show, you should never, ever give up. <laughs> Look out, Sarah! Oh. oh! I've done it! <laughs> I've done it! I can ride a bike! Look! Julian, Meow. come and get your breakfast. You'll be late for school. Meow. Oh, dear. Now I'm late oh. for work at the cafe. Cheerio, Pat. Bye, love. Morning, Julian. <coughs> oh, morning, Dad. Oh, dear. Sounds like you've got a bad cold. I wonder if you should stay at home today. I, I can't. You've got to go to work, Dad. Well, not if you're ill. I could ring Mrs Goggins and tell her I need to stay at home to look after you. Really? Yes, but only if you really are too poorly to go to school. <coughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm definitely too poorly. All right. I'll give Mrs Goggins a ring and call the cafe to let your mum know. <coughs> we won't be needing the post bag today, Jess. We're staying at home to look after Julian. You worry, Pat. There's only a few letters today, so I'll deliver them for you. I hope we Julian is feeling better soon. <laughs> Cheerio, Pat. Oh, Bonnie. I've got post to deliver. Now, where did I put my old post hat? Oh, it'll be just like old times. Out you go and play, Bonnie. Oh, can't I sit on the sofa and watch television? No. If you're feeling ill, the best place for you is in bed. Ah, uh, hmm. I'll leave you to get some rest, but if you need anything, just ring that bell and I'll come straight up. Thanks, Dad. Meow. Meow, meow. Yeah. I can't play with you, Jess. I'm supposed to be ill, remember? Meow, meow. Oh, mm. oh this is boring. Meow, meow. What is it, Julian? Are you OK? Uh, could you bring me my comic book, please, Dad? Yes, yes, of course. Meow? <laughs> Being ill is fun. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Hello, Bonnie. Looking for someone to play with? <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. I've got lots of poorly animals to see today. Hello there, Jess. Strange not to be delivering the post, isn't it? Meow. Meow. Coming, Julian. Meow.
you come to see how I'm getting on? No, no, no. I've no time to play, Bonnie. Oh, stop it, Bonnie. You're making me dizzy. Oh. 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 Dizzy me. Julian, thought you might be thirsty. Oh, thanks, Dad. <coughs> They're looking much better, Alf. I think they'll be fine now. Thanks, Amy. Hey, I do worry about me sheep. Me sheep, Maisie, Bessie, Mabel. What on earth's got into you, Bonnie? It's naughty to scare sheep like that. Are you still looking for someone to play with? Sorry, Bonnie. Maybe we could play later. Bye, Alf. Bye. Got to go, Bonnie. Mabel. Ice cream! Eh? Oh, uh, I mean, thanks, Dad. That'll make my sore throat feel much better. It's dangerous to play in the road. You could have been hurt. Come on. I'll take you home. What is it, Bonnie? You want me to follow you? Jess? Is that you? Well done, Bonnie. Don't worry, Jess. We'll soon get you out of there. Meow, meow. Stay with Jess, Bonnie. I'll be right back. Meow, meow. It's okay, Jess. I'm here now. Let's take a look, eh? Meow! 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 Hmm. Looks like a broken leg. First things first, Jess. I'll give you some medicine for the pain. Then we'll get you out of here, eh? Meow! Mum! Oh. Hello, sweetheart. I left work early to make sure you're all right. How are you feeling now? Oh, um, a lot better, Mum. Oh, Pat, you don't look so good. I'm fine. <coughs> Just a bit tired, love. Um, is Jess up here with you? Uh, no. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him for ages. Oh, dear. I wonder where he is. Jess? Let's get you to the surgery. 
and get that leg fixed, eh? Hello, Amy. What? Jess is hurt. <gasps> oh, no. Yes, we'll be there immediately. Mum? What's happened to Jess? He fell down a hole and hurt his leg. He's at the surgery. I'll go straight there. Oh, Dad, it's my fault. If you hadn't been looking after me, Jess wouldn't have wandered off and he'd be OK. You can't help being ill, Julian. Your dad's right, love. But, but, but I'm not ill. Oh! I was at first, then I felt better. But it was kind of fun, so I pretended. Julian! And now Jess is the one that's really ill, and it's my fault because Dad's been running round after me. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll talk about this later. Let's go. It's OK, Jess. I'm just checking to see if you've broken any more bones. Yep. That leg is definitely broken. But we'll have it fixed in no time. I'll get it bandaged for you. I'm so sorry, Jess. Is Jess going to be OK, Amy? Yes. He'll need lots of care and attention, but he'll soon be back on his feet. I promise I'll take extra care of you, Jess. I can't thank you enough, Amy. It's Bonnie you should thank. I couldn't have found Jess without her. <coughs> thank you, Bonnie. <coughs> Come on, then. Let's get Bonnie and Jess home. <coughs> I think you need to get home too, Pat. You sound as if you're getting a cold. <coughs> I'm feeling a bit thirsty, Jess. What about you? Meow. Keep up the good work, Julian. Yes, Dad. 